Welcome to Happy Hour, brought to you by Best Damn Bookkeeping. Yeah, so the seasonality trend is there. I mean, it's called spring cleaning for a reason. I mean, it's it's a, a thing. It's cold winter. Everything gets opened up. You want to plant your garden. You want to get your house clean inside, outside. It's That's why demand skyrockets. Again, summer, a lot more things happen during the summer season where people aren't as focused on the cleaning maintenance of their house because that most of the time it was done earlier in the year. What happens for service companies, though, and this is really valuable, is everybody's hungry over the wintertime, unless you are in like Miami or Phoenix or something like that. For the most part, the seasonal seasonality is the same for 95% of the country. So everybody's starving in January, February, March, until the grass starts growing and algae starts blooming or whatever, right? So um, in the beginning part of spring, I mean, when demand starts to pick up, everybody's answering their phone, everybody's got capacity, everybody's just dying to get back to work and everything fills up really quick. What happens is the smaller companies, the owner operators, truck in a truck, whatever, they get full, they drop out of the game. And so by week five, six of the busy season, they're, they're fat and happy. They've got their one truck full for three months and they're like, I'm done. And then it makes the larger companies that have systems processes in place be able to execute through the spring season. But what happens oh, that is- that's a good point as to why you see such a huge spike with bigger companies because they'll staff up for that. Yep. The, the base load of the solo operators will take a bunch of market, but it only takes so much. The influx of the demand gets consumed by the bigger operators that scale up for it. Exactly. Which explains why yep. the bigger you get, the bigger you drop. And even in the very beginning of the season, if you go back and look at your closing percentage in like early March, to early April, like that 30 days, your closing percentage drops a little bit because everybody has the opportunity, everybody's there. People are answering their phone quickly, they're getting to the jobs faster, but in May, June, those people are full. So it's a little bit easier to close those jobs in the tail end of the busy season. But yeah. then something amazing happens, like right now it's starting to happen, by August it's full on, is that all those people that were fat and happy in May and June, they start to dry, their schedule gets dried up. So now you have this this difference between demand goes down between 30 and 80 percent, depending where you're at in your industry, goes down and all these people are flooding back into the market. So you've got all these people advertising now and for half the demand that you normally had, and it makes everything get more expensive. So if you are advertising in the summer months, this is when you get your deals. This is when you have your stronger call to action. This is when you really need to be more aggressive with your marketing because there's not as many people searching because of everything I just explained. So. You just got to be able to play the seasonality and know when you're going to get busy, when you slow down to stay ahead of it and then keep it going as far as you can. Heck yeah. Hey, Home Service Heroes. Thank you guys so much for tuning into our Home Service Happy Hour content today. I sure hope you learned a little something and I sure as a heck hope that it was entertaining. If you did find it fun and entertaining, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more cool, fun, entertaining business content. And speaking of which, stay tuned. There's a little more here and a little more right here. Check it out.